Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 24th of March. I'm James Spann. Cold weather headlines are forecast this week. It's spring break week for a lot of people, and hey, sometimes it works out that way. Uh, let's go in there and take a look at the big picture this morning, the water vapor satellite imagery. You can see the deal. We've got kind of a split flow in the Pacific. We've got a southern stream cutting across the Gulf Coast, then a northern branch, and you've got ridging. Uh, on the Pacific coast with a downstream trough developing, and that uh, trough will be pulling down uh, colder air. And I uh, got a blizzard possibly brewing there for Cape Cod and uh, our friends up there just over the eastern tip of the New England coast, and that'll produce some windy conditions here tomorrow. Uh, there's the temperatures early this morning. Uh, some spots are below freezing. Fort Payne, 28. Haleyville, 32. Readings around 40 along Interstate 20. Uh, Birmingham sitting at 40 at daybreak. High today, only around 60. The average high for March 24th is 69. Around the nation, uh, pretty chilly for late March. And again, as the pattern amplifies, we'll see even colder air coming down the pike. We'll have a freeze uh, Wednesday morning uh, all the way down in here. Now, this morning, a few counties in North Alabama under a freeze warning, but uh, Wednesday morning, uh, almost all of North Central Alabama will be under a freeze warning. The Weather Service issues those once we get into spring, and that's for the growers, uh, we should be in the 20s at daybreak Wednesday, as you'll see. And this is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday morning at uh, 7 o'clock, and this is suggesting about three-quarters to one inch here. And the bulk of that will most likely be Friday. Take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. This is at 500 millibars. And you can see the uh, ridge beginning to form over the uh, western states, and you can see troughing off the upper Atlantic coast. And uh, down below that, the day will be cool and dry, the high around 60 in most spots today. All right, this is tomorrow. You can see that uh, big trough developing over the eastern United States. And down below that, a surface low begins to organize off the Atlantic coast. Uh, initially, it's uh, like 1,006 millibars uh, east of Charleston. And in response to that, that'll be rapidly deepening in that 1030 high west of the state. We'll have a tight pressure gradient. It will be sunny, windy, and colder. We'll have northwest winds averaging 15 to 25, maybe gusting to 30 in spots. And the high will be only in the mid-50s tomorrow. Our friends up in the Tennessee Valley, they might have a hard time getting out of the 40s in places like Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, and Scottsboro. And that's despite a sunny sky. So it's going to be very blustery. If you're uh, beach bound for the week, uh, no rain down there through midweek, but it's going to be very chilly, especially at night. This is Wednesday. Look at that bomb off the uh, upper Atlantic coast. Wow. Uh, and down here, we'll start the day in the 20s. The, uh, uh, both the NAM and the GFS for Birmingham are printing 28. We figure most spots will be somewhere between 25 and 29. But those colder pockets up in North Alabama, you know, places like Valley Head and Black Creek, you know, the typical spots, they could easily do low 20s on Wednesday. There's a closer look at that uh, big nor'easter. Uh, hopefully it's far enough off the Atlantic coast to prevent any major problems, although the Weather Service in Boston has issued a blizzard watch for uh, Nantucket, Hyannis, Cape Cod uh, for this thing for tomorrow night to Wednesday morning. It's going to be a very close call one way or the other. It's going to be very windy uh, on the Cape out there at Cape Cod and uh, very, very rough surf. The thing will bring nearly hurricane force winds close to the center of that, which thankfully is well offshore. Uh, by the way, here's a look at our numbers uh, early Wednesday coming off the high-res NAM, and it's got mostly upper 20s around here. And again, we'll use 25 to 29 in the forecast. And then during the day, Wednesday will be sunny and cool with a high only in the uh, middle 50s. Thursday, we start to warm up. Everything shifts. we got a wind out of the south. We have a deepening surface low. That is uh, located uh, between Minneapolis and Chicago, 994 millibars. 
And we'll kind of keep an, an, an eye on the trailing front. You know, this is tornado season. We haven't had anything this year. Uh, and then f Friday morning at 7 o'clock, the front comes through here. The uh, surface low is moving up into uh, Ontario, trailing front down into northwest Alabama. Severe weather with this thing. We'll watch the possibilities, but obviously in a situation like this, the surface low is so far north. It's an early morning squall line. Uh, here's a look at the instability, and there's basically none, and that would certainly suggest no real significant severe weather threat. And the wind fields, the low-level jet, again, way, way, way north of here. So at this point, severe weather does not look to be a possibility, but things could change. We'll keep an eye on it. But certainly we'll mention a good chance of showers and thunderstorms late Thursday night into Friday morning. And then during the day Saturday, uh, we are mostly dry. The deeper moisture is pulling off east of here. And really no cold air involved in this thing. Uh, we're going to be up in the 70s on Friday, and uh, we should stay in the 70s on Saturday to start the weekend. So it looks very mild. And again, at the moment, the, the moisture should be east of here, and I think the day should be mostly dry. And this is Sunday. That's going to be a gorgeous day. Sunny and mild. Highs up in the middle 70s. Just beautiful. Monday of next week. Same deal. Sunny with mid-70s. So uh, looks like, and that's the last day of March, by the way. So if this is right, March goes out like a lamb. Nice and quiet. A few days later, April 3rd, evidence of a cold front coming in. But again, no severe weather look with that. And the end of the forecast on April 8th, uh, troughing over the southern plain states. That might suggest some type of active weather out there. But for us, if this is right, that would still be mild and dry. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.